A Jackson man is fighting to better the lives of disabled people across the country. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Robinson tells us how he's doing. My story starts back in 2003. I was a victim of a hit and run accident back on Ashport Road. Edward Mitchell was a 16 year old riding his bicycle when he was hit by a truck. Mitchell, now 31, is fighting for other disabled people. He just returned from a trip to Washington, D.C., where he spoke to senators about resources for those with disabilities. I'm a national spokesman for the ABLE savings account program. He went to testify to the Senate about these accounts that allow people with disabilities to save money and keep other benefits like SNAP and Medicaid. They directed questions towards me about you know, my work experience, what are some things that are holding me back, what things I've encountered when I've had to turn down job offers. Mitchell can only work part time to qualify for the benefits that help him pay for things like his wheelchair and his van. When he's not in D.C. fighting to better the lives of disabled people across the country, he's here in Jackson working not one, but two part time jobs. I'm actually on a part time basis because I split my time between here and the Jackson Generals minor league baseball team. And he'll continue to be an ambassador for the ABLE account program this year. In North Jackson, Josh Robinson, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. See Mitchell's full testimony and learn more about uh, ABLE accounts. Visit the scene on 7th section of our website.